Alright guys, so welcome back. What the hell? Looks like I have lipstick. Anyways, welcome back to another video right now. Oh, I'm not looking at the screen. Stop looking at the screen. Look at the freaking there. Alright guys, so welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be getting a quick haircut. So, uh, BRB. So, see you guys in a second. Now. Alright guys, so we are back. I look kind of fucked up. My hair looks too short. Fuck! Damn it. Motherfucker cut it too short. Alright, anyways. Hey, you bring you, what you doing? What you do, what you do, what you do, what you do, what you do. You good? Yeah. Bitch, what? What you do, 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 Alright guys, so welcome back. What we're gonna do is crack open the freaking package. Dude, look at that. Look at that. I gotta blur out that freaking thing right there, but look at that. Look at it. It's huge. Alright, let's crack this open right now. Hold up. Let's freaking crack it open this way. Let's crack this sucker open. Let's see what's inside. We got that side open? Yeah, all right. Bend this, this way. Come on, come on, baby. Yeah, look at that, all right. First thing we got in the package is a freaking, oh, there it is, there it is, guys. <laughs> First, we got, let's see, we got a battery. What the hell, dude, that's so freaking thin. That's like, this is like a screwdriver. Look at how crappy looking these are. Alright, well, comment down below if these are any good. Uh, these came with the KWA as a kit complete. So, here we have 4,000 round mags. Holy crap. Alright, hold up. Let's, uh, put that to the side as well. And here we got, what is this? What is this right here? This is gonna be, I think, a little freaking, uh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Oh! Oh, what? What? Oh, this is the charger for the battery. All right, so this is also included with the kit with the KWA LiPo safe. Oh, never leave charging battery unintended. Always ensure the battery is on a non-flammable surface. Ensure flap is, uh, oh, okay. Okay, that's good. As you can see, we got a Condor one-point sling. We're gonna have to crack that open. Let's just put it to the side right now. And over here, we have some flipping gloves. Oh, shoot, hold up. Will they fit? Hopefully, I think they will. No, I think they're Matrix gloves. Shoot, all right, let's, let's just put that to the side. And here we got the freaking tactical mesh mask. As you can see, this is actual full mesh all the way to the left and to the right. So, yeah, that's great. Won't have to worry about freaking having cheeks, BBs in my cheeks. So, uh, there we go. All right, and now for the freaking, not a real firearm. All right, YouTube, not a real firearm, all right? <laughs> Suckers. All right, oh, wait, there's something, there's something right there. What the hell is that? What is that? Oh yeah, this is a freaking uh, red dot protector. All right, you'll see why we need that soon. Let's uh, crack this open this way. Let's put it to the side right here. All right, let's uh, fling this box out. Let's get this freaking thing. All right, guys, let's freaking open this right here. The freaking moment of truth right here. All right, hold up. Where's my freaking knife right here? Oh, you gotta open it sideways. All right, this is what we got right here. Bam! VMA A1 2.5. As you can see, very nice. It has a functioning bolt catch, and it also has an adjustable FPS, too, so hold up. Let's just freaking pop it open right now. Full metal. How the heck are we going to do this? All right. All right. Let's, uh... Crap. I'm going to have to put the camera down for this one. Let's slide it open. <laughs> All right. Oh, some stuff is flying out. Some stuff is flying out. All right, <laughs> you guys can't see it, but I can, so hold up. Let me show you guys real quick. Let me set it up here. All right, in three, two, <laughs> one, bam. Look at it. You can't even see it with this crappy lighting. Oh, shoot. Look at that. All right. So we got a full metal upper and lower and iron sight, so everything else is 
polymer. Oh, the freaking grip is like like a rubberized polymer. This it has the standard polymer grips, metal iron sights, metal barrel. It has a plastic mag. Oh, geez, these are really light. You can make these from 30 rounds to a high cap from a flip of a switch right there. So that's good. All right, let's take this out. <laughs> Holy crap, this is like my KWA LM4. Alright, let's freaking charge the battery right now. Let's figure out how to do that. And let's see the safety. Oh, it's not as clicky as I expected it to, but I like the grips. Very nice. Oh, crap, dude. Look at that. That's the iron sights right there. Look at that. And it has a functioning bolt catch right here. So when you go empty, you can actually press that to freaking chamber the first round. So let's... uh pull back the hop-up adjustment so it has a rotary style hop-up adjuster right there so you can get easy access to it you can flip that right back up into there very nice so all right let's let's break and charge this i also have a wrap for red dot so there we go wrap for red dot very nice it has the caps on it right now let me take them off so that you can actually see through the red dot this is the side you can see it through so i'm gonna flip it on one you see that? Dude, you can't even see it. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me see, let me see. Why isn't it working? It's on. Dude, what the hell? Did I leave it with the battery on? Damn it. I think I did. All right, guys, that's a fucking fail. I left the red dot with the battery on, so I'm gonna switch out the battery right now, so BRB. So to replace the battery on the Ramp 4 red dot, or any red dot in general, it usually has a slit on a cap right on the top of one of these caps or on the side usually but mine has it on the top so you can just twist this off or you can get a coin and twist that off there but since mine isn't on that tight whoops there goes the cap there goes the old battery pop in the new battery remember this is sort of a has some spring tension to it so you want to push it down and twist it doesn't want to go on all right there we go and now you can just get your old battery use it as a freaking oh no you can't use it as a freaking coin I'm just gonna get a regular screwdriver here flathead there we go and as you can see can you see let me see if I can see all right you can barely see it because I replaced it with the crappy red dot battery this battery seems low, but as you can see, there it is. Very nice. So, yep, yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna set this on the top rail. I'm gonna put this on it, so let's see how it looks like. So, let me turn it off right now before I forget. There we go. So, it has 11 different modes, but I just usually put it on the highest mode. But, uh... I don't know, let's see how it turns out for uh, any night games or on the lower settings. It might uh, be actually useful on the lower settings, so... Yeah, let's uh, put this on, so yay! Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our battery charger here. Let's see how this works. Alright, so we have balance charger, so let's see, it has no instructions in here, so let's see, I haven't used one of these, so... Oh, you can charge 11.1 volt battery, 3 cell batteries, or 2 cell batteries. This, uh, this is the charger, this is the wall charger here. So this will go into here, like so. Now we just have to put that to the side and open this. Let's uh, use a little knife here to pry the staple off. There we go, staples are out. Let's open this. Oh, this is two, it's like a two in one. Eh, all right, that, that's kind of cool. All right, uh, so this one's the charging cable. And this is the one that goes to the gearbox. Since it says 7.4, we're just going to plop this thing right into the 7.4 area here. Make sure you line this up right. All right, guys, so we have the battery charging here. So, there we go. It's charging. I don't know how long we're supposed to wait. But I'm guessing this uh, red is going to turn green sooner or later. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna wait until then. All right, guys, so let's continue here with the rest. So right here, we have lens protector right here. So let's just crack this open. This is gonna go mounted on the front of the red dot here. Oh, we got an Allen key in there. Oh, that's nice. Two extra lens protectors there, just in case uh, this one cracks as soon as you go out on your first game. So that's good. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Very nice. Look at that. You can flip it up when you're ready. Flip it down when you don't need it. So for backyard shooting or something, I don't know. That's pretty cool. So very good. I highly recommend one of these. I don't know how durable they are, but um, sooner or later, we'll take this out on the field and uh, we'll find out. So let me just put this back in the baggie or storage real quick since we're not going to install it just yet. But let's go on with the rest here. Let's see. Oh, these are nice. Let's slice them open. Let's see here. They should be a snug fit here. Yeah. Very good. Very good. I got the right size. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's freaking put the other one on here. Let's see how easy it is up. It's not very easy. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Gotta set it down. <laughs> All right, let's put the other one on. All right, very nice. Let's continue. <laughs> so we have the mags here, the AEG or ERG series. Let's just freaking slice this open here. There we go. Let's see, oh shoot, very nice. Very nicely packaged, look at that. All right, let's take them all out. Oh wait, they're not the same. These are high caps. They're not like mid cap to high cap. They're just straight up high caps. What, what the heck? I wanted the ones that you could uh, shoot. Well, oh well, we'll see how these are. I don't know, shoot. They could be uh, useful for like longer games, but uh, I thought I was gonna get the ones that have the select of 30 to 120 but I guess these are just high caps so let's just put them back I'll have to double check if that's what I ordered <laughs> but let's continue here with the rest so we have our metal mesh mask here my other mesh mask did not have the strap this one comes with it doesn't move around as much as the old one so very nice look at that last but not least we have the condor tactical sling right here so let's open it on up this is a one point sling mount here it has this stretchy bungee here very hefty oh geez these this is heftier than my last one holy crap yep this is very very good very happy with this <laughs> oh yeah yeah very nice so you can detach it when you want to put it away set it down somewhere clip it back on and you're all set so yeah, yeah. <laughs> very nice and apparently this is a lipo battery safe let's see i think you put your battery in here when you're storing it so that's a uh, pretty nice pretty nice pouch right there i guess you get one of these <laughs> i don't know i got it for free so i guess uh you should probably use one but uh, other than that that's basically it what the heck is this dude this came with my friggin sling <laughs> what the fuck all right uh i don't know where this came from but uh anyways i guess uh, that's the end of the video so if you guys haven't already make sure you comment like and subscribe thank you each and every one of you for subscribing i truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart so thank you so much to everyone i hope you guys like this video that's gonna be the end so thank you so much for watching so uh yeah that's basically it sooner or later i'm gonna be uh posting a shooting video so comment down below like turn on post notifications all that good stuff so see you guys in the next video Meow.